Good morning. Good morning. So today we're gonna head over to the beach. We're going to Playa Vanau. This is a huge party spot. Lots of hostels. Lots of young people. <laughs> so we're excited to come and check it out. Danny's been almost all the way to Playa Vanau, but he. Uh, stopped in a secluded beach area when I wasn't here. So now we're gonna be able to check out that secluded beach area, the beach, the surf, the food. Yeah, we're really excited. So what do you rate this skate park? Out of 10. I'd rate this skate park a solid 9 out of 10. No way, 9 out of 10. Location, location. I mean, it's basically just as fun as the surf dojo, but free. Yeah. It looks like it has lights. There's no cover for the rain, but you know what? This is sweet. Really good transition. Hey, as long as the transitions are good, that's all that matters. Am I right? Yeah, Playa Vanau skate park right by the surf factory i think so come check it out from my humble abode. Ha! Ah, feels good to be doing some good tricks again. <laughs> Ooh, I'm stoked right now. Check this out. This wall over here this one over here is actually a little bit closer, but it's still like, you know, it's like this wide concrete. You gotta go ways. I was wall riding it up in this little top part here. And if you look over the edge, this is about eight foot drop or something. Ooh, feels good to be doing big tricks again. After my week riding in Chitre, now I'm on my game again. Feels epic. You wanna go outside, Grimmy? Okay. We're here after that skate park. We came a bit farther down the coast to Juanico Beach, and here's the Juanico Surf Camp, which is charging us uh, ten dollars a night, which is completely okay. The dorms here are twelve dollars a night for those who would want to come and check it out and stay in a dorm. Trying this new setup here, where we put the camping chair in the van. Right now, it's perfect. You can have complete ocean view. Yeah, we're just having our nice morning coffee here at Juanico Surf Camp and maybe we'll stay a couple days. It seems like a pretty chill spot. We'll show you what the grounds look like here. It's really nice. So, a major development for me this morning is that we got my phone to work. Instead of uh, continuing my Sprint contract, I decided to port my number with Google Voice, which one of you guys actually told us you should do. Thanks so much. <laughs> so now I got a Moss Mobile number, but since I ported my number with Google Voice, I can still get regular texts and calls with um, my old, from, from my old number onto this phone. 
And also most of my friends and family have iPhones, so iMessage is still working really well, so they can still send me messages without any change for either of us. So now I have an actual phone that works, which is awesome because the Sprint number, it worked really, really well in Canada and Mexico and it was free then, but as soon as we got to Guatemala, it was kind of off and on. It works sometimes, it works, it doesn't work. So I'm so glad we figured out how to save my old number and move over to a local plan. Also, this local plan is only $5 a week. Ah. Uh, I kind of like, why didn't I do this sooner? We would have saved so much money. We just walked into the Mass Mobile store and they gave us a free SIM. We unlocked the phone so that we can put in any SIM from all over and it uh, immediately worked. It showed up that it had bars from Mass Mobile. You know, the funniest part is this part of the country doesn't have internet for anyone. <laughs> you have to be on Wi Fi. So we, we got me a phone for service and then immediately went to a place that there's no service. Rainy day. So I'm getting a bit of the app work done. Gonna make van pizza, babe. Van pizza. What? That's epic. I'm gonna drink my cup of van tea. It's chamomile. <laughs> When we were locked down in Mexico, I made pizza in our pizza oven. <laughs> so hopefully this works. I mean, I'm sure it's going to work. Definitely make some kind of bread with tomato sauce on top. <laughs> <laughs> so our oven, our pizza oven today is actually just a pan that goes on the stove. It looks like a donut. It's called an Omnia and we're using it because we're not allowed to bring the propane into the container. Um, and since we're shipping in less than three weeks now, we really have to be mindful of how much <laughs> propane we have left. So it usually takes us about two months to finish up our propane. So hopefully with baking a lot and making a lot of tea, cooking in the van all the time, we'll be able to finish up the propane before it's too late. <laughs> well, the dough is gonna rise here for about 30 minutes. So we're all rolling dough the dough and the pan okay it's time to move my dough over to to knead it over to the Omnia make some pizza so this is the Omnia it basically makes it so we can cook like we have an oven even though we don't have an oven just by using our stove so first you get this part warm. You get all your stuff ready in here, three pieces. You got the top, you got the bottom, and then this insert so it's easy to clean when you're done. Okay, so now we're gonna heat up this part of the Omnia, and then we're gonna dress up this pizza. We're gonna do half normal pie and half buffalo. We've made a lot of stuff in this Omnia, but we've never tried pizza. I'm excited to see. Yeah. <laughs> we got this. So we were gonna try half and half pizza to see which one we like more. And then pick our favorite, make that pizza again. The Omnia has to go on really low. And we're just gonna place it on top here. Honestly, the whole van pizza revolution couldn't have come at a better time. I'm quite hungry. We're not really sure how it's gonna turn out, but that's what you get for stepping into the unknown. All right, so we're gonna make our second snake. Yes, roll it out like this and then because it's not, you know, a normal pizza where we can just flatten it to the size of a plate or something and throw it in the oven. We have to kind of make it into a weird round shape. Sombrita wants to go to the beach. It's still raining, baby. Maybe later. Graham. Graham wants to go to the beach, too. Uh. <laughs> oh, it looks pizza-like. Yeah, we'll see what it tastes like. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely eat it. I think just the vegan cheese doesn't quite melt the same. Oh so. no, definitely not. Yeah, pizza number one. Looking good. It actually looks a lot better than it did in the pan. I'm pretty stoked about it. Yeah, so here we got our second dough snake. Dough and snake. Van Chef Emily on duty. We're going to bake the dough for a couple of minutes before we put the toppings on. This is a way that we did it one time with some friends. So we're gonna try it out. We're just trying to perfect a van pizza right now. Oops. 
Okay, babe, which side do you want to try first? I want buffalo. Tomato or buffalo? Okay, I'll take this one. Cheers. Mmm. That's nice. Mm hmm. Man, it's a success. Killing it, babe. Some pizza. Okay, let's try the tomato side this time. Bing. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. That's super, mm -hmm. super pizza flavor. I think that the tomato pie might be the winner. I'm into the tomato one. Mm -hmm. But buffalo is a good try. Yeah, we should try tomato and buffalo. Ram pizza number one done. <laughs> That was really good, babe. I'm really impressed with our band pizza skills so far. I think by the third one, we're gonna be mm, perfecto. Okay, so now we're gonna add the flavors to this one. And the dough is looking like it cooked a lot quicker. Yeah, probably a more even. Now we're gonna try a little thyme and hot sauce on this, John. <laughs> Pizza number two. Oh, I'm so stoked to try this one. The bottom is a little bit more crispy. I think it's gonna be even better. Yeah, try one of these out. Mmm. That one is way better than the last one. Wow. Oh, that's bomb. Yeah. Mm. Top notch. A little crispies on here. That's the type of pizza I want every day. <laughs> Made it in our van. Okay, babe. Ready for pizza number three? Yes, I I just want to say I think this is gonna be the best one yet. We had a lot of practice. Yeah. Here we have a perfectly toasted, wow, look at that. Pizza, tomato with some vegan cheese. I'm excited for this one. Yeah, crispy. Right. <laughs> Ooh, looking good. Ooh, Ooh that's a hot. <laughs> this is hot. Let's try it out. Cheers. Mmm. That's bomb. That is bomb. Such as it is the third pizza, I'm gonna get into my cache of hot sauces. <laughs> Ooh, Emily's rocking the Franks. Extra hot. This is one of my favorite hot sauces from Costa Rica. You want to try one? Mm hmm. It's a bit spicy. So, pizza number three, even better. I think we figured this out. Yeah, I think we're going to be cooking some pizzas in the van because we got to use that propane. <laughs> and that does take a while to cook. It's a really fun meal to make. If you really like crust, you'd really like this pizza, I think. Mm hmm. But it is thin. While we were cooking the third pizza, the person in charge came over to have a chat. She, her name's Andrea from Germany, really nice. Apparently she works online uh, for camper van reservations in Portugal. She's been traveling around a while. She's in charge here as a volunteer, gets to stay for free, and the surfing's right out front. She had a lot of really cool stories. Just like us, things are definitely uh, very, up in the air because of the coronavirus, like when are countries gonna close, when can I get back in, stuff like that. Yeah, she's just been enjoying her time in places that she can go. Whoa, this is sick right now. We haven't been getting any solar. Right now it says we're pulling in 235 watts, babe. Oh. 235. That is a high score for sure. 240 out of 200. Oh my god. We have 200 watts of solar and we were pulling 240 a second ago. What sorcery is this? <laughs> Juanico Beach, killing it with the solar. We need that energy. Good morning. 
recording. Recorded. We really, really enjoyed our time at that Juanico surf camp. It was a hostel and wow, just such good breeze there. It was very cool and the people were very nice. There was really good surf out front. Yeah, the temperature there for me made it such an amazing spot. I could stay there for two weeks. Yeah, that was a really nice spot. And it seemed like time just passed by slowly, but like calmly. I don't know. It, yeah, the vibe there is really, really good. That's true. And also we had, you know, like very limited, but a little bit of Wi-Fi that reached the van, so that was nice. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to, yeah, we left the surf camp with a heavy heart, but maybe we'll return. Yeah, I want to go back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So now we're heading over to um, Kambutal. It's an isolated campsite, so it should be really fun for us to just, you know, be by ourselves for a couple of days. We stocked up, we got water, we got food. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> so now we're entering Kambutal area. It looks pretty cute. Casa Kambutal here. I didn't expect it to look this nice. I thought it would be just like a really empty area. But we have four more kilometers. So we're gonna go along the ocean. So hopefully it'll thin out. So the road has become a dirt road, which is what we like to see. Let's see how this goes. Some major whoops right here. And a little stream crossing. A little bit of mud. Looks like we have another river crossing. So I think I'm gonna stay out of the tracks because that looks like more muddy. And then I'll just give it a little speed over this. All right, that one wasn't as bad, but definitely can't leave on a day it's raining. <laughs> wow. yeah. Oh my gosh, another river crossing. I'll go check it out. Well, Danny says it's okay, but. He, his feet are sinking a little bit in where the tracks are. Okay, not too much right there. Yeah, it looks good. It's uh, not too deep water with rocks underneath. <gasps> that was deep. <laughs> that, was that, deep. Deep. that was deep. I just hit it going fast. Oh my gosh. So we've made it to the High Overlander spot here. Let's see what's going on. I guess it used to be behind this fence you could you could park, but I mean it still seems like there's room here for us. But maybe we'll keep looking down the coast and see what we can find because this is kind of low here to get close to the water. What do you make of it, Emily? You want to keep looking? I kind of want to keep looking just because of the mosquito breeding down right here. Yeah. But it's a good option for sure. Yeah. Beautiful beach here, though. Huh, I guess that river crossing was a bit deep. Okay, so here's our second option here, which is looking pretty freaking nice. As long as this is hard packed enough for a two wheel drive van, this looks epic. Look at this clearing. We get plenty of solar, the breeze is great. This is freaking sick. There's somebody built a chair over there. This is paradise as far as we're concerned. Wow, I think Emily's gonna be stoked. Let's see what she says. When you come up to these spots, you never know what you're gonna find. This one wasn't even on iOverlander. I like it. What do you think, Emily? I like it, yeah, you like it. Yeah, it's hard pack. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's a hard. sweet spot. Sweet, let's do it. Good morning. So an amazing thing happened this morning while we were eating breakfast. I was looking out the window just admiring the beautiful views of the beach. All of a sudden, a pot of whales started spouting. 
We, Danny did see one of them breach. I saw at least one baby, but it's fin out of the water. Wow, such an amazing morning already. <laughs> I love this beach, it's so isolated. Uh, spot's pretty sweet. This has been so nice. I think eventually we're gonna go for a walk on these tide pools. But wow, we've been able to see whales from here, baby whales. Yeah, the whales, that was really awesome. I tried to get the drone out there to see them, but they didn't come up. Oh, babe, I think I just saw one spout right there. Really? Yeah, anyway, it's really hard with the drone to get them because they don't come up for a while. Battery of the drone only lasts a certain amount. But besides the whales, there's also a ton of hermit crabs here, which are super cute. Sambrinka absolutely has been loving her time running around on the beach. Graham has gone outside a couple times. Cutest thing ever, that little cat. Oh, here comes a guy on a horse. Oh, here comes a guy on a horse. Dang guys, this spot was pretty sweet. We were hanging out here a few days, but we think we're gonna head back to Juanico, grab a shower, and you can't really surf here, there's rocks, so be able to enjoy the ocean some more. So hopefully the road's up for it. We had a bit of rain today, and there were about three streams we crossed, but I think we got this. Oh boy, here we go, our first river crossing. Electronic stability control off. Ooh, oh boy. A car coming. <laughs> of course. One, two, three, four. Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Woohoo! Woo! Oh my god. Oh, thank goodness. That was scary. Yeah. That was scary. Oh, that guy's got a lot of coconuts. This yeah, one, this one looks really muddy, honestly. This one is looking like the sketchiest one. I don't remember this one looking so sketchy the first time I yeah. saw it. I thought it... Well, going downhill, you don't have to worry about getting stuck, but I better give it a little speed before. And then, looks like even muddy when you're coming out over there. Yeah. But I better go slow at this part, because it's a huge bump right here. Yeah, it looks like once you hit that last bump right there, then you can start giving it some money. Yep. Oh gosh. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Woo! Almost Ooh. there, yeah! <laughs> one of the rocks! Oh, that's the last one! Oh, thank goodness. So, <laughs> so good. So good! Oh yeah, we're back here at Juanico Surf Camp. Straight chilling. Both animals out here. But those waves look pretty nice. Just some baby waves. I think I'll probably get out there and do some surfing. We loved our time at Juanico again. We're gonna head over to another skate park near Vanal before heading out of this beautiful stretch of beaches. What's really crazy is we're really getting in the zone now for the shipping. Only how many days until we ship, babe? It's 10 days until we drop off the van, and then 12 when, we, when the van actually goes on the boat. Oh, wow. So we're gonna try to enjoy our last little time in Panama, but it's been great so far. Yeah. Well, we had a good time in Chitre with the homies there, and they all told me to come check out this skate park. So we came down here to Surf Dojo.
go. Let's call it a wrap. Go get me a shower, hopefully. Get some food over at the beach. Chill out. But now, but now, but now. Good sesh here. I recommend the Surf Dojo. Cool. Skate park. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe. See ya.